Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 4 Days World and I am Deb Chanel and we're here <coughs> excuse me let me get a little something to drink I became a little parched or parched there okay we're going to take this story all the way over to England yes Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are doing some things over there and the queen is not liking it. She's saying, don't put me on blast, son. Don't put me on blast. You know how we rock over here in the castle. You know how things go. Why are you trying to act all brand new on us, okay? But it's that damn wife of his, that Meghan Markle girl, that little black woman over there doing, shaking things up, okay? Sister style, okay? Peace, soul. Peace and soul. She said, like, ah, 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 ah. I don't like y'all all in my business like that. We're going to have to make some changes. Go around in circles. That's what Megan and Harry are going around in circles. Because the queen said, no, 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 no. I said, no, 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 no. We will not change, chop, not change, not change. We won't change for you, no ma'am. Okay. Honey, we're going to go on over with the standard. Yes, the standard media over there in the UK. Okay. Try to tell what this queen over there is doing. All right. And she looks so gorgeous in that orange. I love that orange on her. That woman just would never go nowhere. She would just not be deceased or anything of that nature. Would she? I think she's going to outlive us all, honey. That woman has been looking very well. Not compared to her husband thus far. Cause, ooh, honey, he looked like he got all his whole body up in the dirt. Ready to go under. I mean, not six feet under, but 12 feet, okay? 16, or if the queen can probably put him there. But anyway, yeah, hair over there cutting up. Child hair, so I don't want to be bothered with none of this royal uh, thing anymore. All these impromptu visits, all these prompt visits, all these social things we got to go to. I'm too young for this. Let my brother William handle it. Okay, yeah, that's her husband, y'all. That's the queen's husband, child. Don't he look horrific? Oh, my goodness. Like, don't put no more photos of him out for the public to take part of. Hell, let him be in solitude. We don't need to see them kind of looks. But anyway, Harry, like, he want to just talk to his grandmama. Like, every normal person would have a, a, a close relationship. Even though she the head B, VIP over there. She the head Ace Boon Coon. And he had to go through everything through her, honey. Yes, not his grandpa. All right. Not his dad. But the queen, and the queen seemed like she was kind of wanting to listen to Harry here and there. But it just seemed like everybody getting up in their business. It's all business to them over there. And uh, Harry's like, I, I want my grandmama to come out. I want the love of my grandmama to shower all on me, okay? I don't care about the queen position. I don't care about the royal court, uh, court and all of that. I don't care about the parliament. I just want to have a conversation with my grandma. It's like he's just pleading to. He's almost in tears, y'all. I feel so sad for Harry. I tell you, all these people that want to be famous, that are born into uh, wealth and all of that, they don't know that comes great responsibilities. Humongous type of responsibility. But Harry said, so I'm tired. I'm going to be like my mom. I'm going to leave all this behind. Let whoever want to have it, have it. But me, I just want to fly my jets. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. I want to fly my jets. I want, I want to do something else. I, I don't want to do this anymore. This is quite boring. Okay? I, it's too mundane for me. I, I want to live life. I want to be out there surfing. I want to be out there snorkeling. I want to live like the normal, common type folks live. Okay? But see, the only thing about it, Harry, you come from wealth. You come from a very rich and understood bloodline, okay? You are up there with the elite, the elite, the elite, okay? We can't have you going out here all willy-nilly, trying to see the world, trying to see the countries and all of that, all free-spirited, like such as your wife. Nobody would really, you know, be checking for her or whatnot. But see, you come with so many threats, and people want to just say, oh, you, okay, well, we'll kidnap you, and we'll hold you for ransom. You see what I'm saying? You come with a lot of 
luggage in a sense. People like to say baggage. I like to say luggage. And you, you know, you might have some, or you may hold some, um, some high clearances on information that a lot of people will, you know, dare to get from you, and they will hold you hostage and, and, and kidnap you, and pretty much put the queen in a bad position where they have to negotiate with terrorists. You see what I'm saying? So you're not one of them people that can just float through society and thinking you can't have no entourage follow you. No, you like a security risk. So I can understand where the queen is coming from. You know, they have to have people around you. Not so much in your face or in everybody's face. But, you know, kind of like in the shadows or whatnot. Making sure you don't get accosted by anyone or even a baby. Uh, Archie. And, you know, they might care about your wife here and there. But it just is what it is Harry. you, you got to chalk it up maybe you should never have gotten married that probably would have been the basis because uh, you see how your brother William is he's uh, overwhelmed he's looking older than anticipated for his age I mean he definitely has gotten into the family business and it has taken its toll on him I ain't put him up on the screen because it wasn't really necessary you can go see him I mean, you have hair on your head still. It look very vibrant. But your brother William, child, please, he got a big old, he, his head is clean in the middle. <laughs> he just got oh, hair on the sides. They done took your oldest brother's hair, honey. But all that worrying and all, oh, child. But anyway, getting back to your story. And you and your wife want to go live all willy-nilly. I mean, Megan could probably get away with it. The baby, not so much because he's like heir to the throne. And Megan's more like a baby ma uh, manufacturing type company where she just keep popping them out. Okay? So, not say she wouldn't be missed or y'all wouldn't take as much clearance on her as you would yourself or your uh, baby boy, Archie. But, you know, when you over there with the Queen and England and London and everything's pretty much like a setup type situation, you just got to follow the rules. And I understand uh, Megan probably done told you it's her or the highway and you want to, you know, you don't got a taste of the, the brown juices, I should say, and the black don't crack type of atmosphere. But mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, it's just it what it is with you. I don't know if I would throw all of my royaltiness away. For a person that may be with you today and be gone tomorrow. You know, it's just here what it is. Just don't seem like Megan is one of them standalone chicks, you know. She had a baby to secure the bag. But then again, it was more so she had to have a baby because that's what they do. They want to make sure they have more men to control and to run the castle if anything happened to uh, Miss Queen Elizabeth. You know what I'm saying? But let's get on into this article. Y'all pretty much see how I felt about the situation, fam. And, of course, I'm going to want you to weigh in after everything is done and said. And um, y'all just tell me what y'all feel about this situation. Is Megan and, and uh, is being too hard on uh, Harry on dissing his heritage and all of that and just be becoming just a normal person? Is she wrong in that aspect? Or is she right? Um, is the queen wrong in demanding that um, Harry and his wife conform to the laws of living uh, in a royal type platform? You know, I, I don't know. I can see both sides, you know. Both sides are very uh, humanistic and, and the desires and wants are, are truly there. But I, I just don't know, y'all. I just don't know. But it's like they should have had this uh, type of situation sought out carefully prior to saying I do you know what I'm saying but anyway we're gonna go on and see what the standard media vlog is saying here it just says a staff writer or by mirror whoever that may be I don't know but the article was titled inside Queen and Prince Harry's quitting phone call and how it went so wrong okay before Meghan Markle and Prince Harry told the world they would be stepping back from their roles as senior royals, the Duke wanted to discuss his decision with the Queen, okay? The Duke is Harry, the Queen, we know who the Queen B is, yes, over there in Britain, girl, Queen Elizabeth, all right? Don't get it twisted. That's not in my pun intended, not in this article. Going back to the article, it says, according to sources, 
He had been discussing the life-changing decisions with his dad, Prince Charles, via email, but wanted to speak to the big boss. Okay, the big boss ahead of the announcement. However, it claimed it's claimed he didn't plan on negotiating with the monarch and instead just wanted to talk to her grandson to Granny to explain why they were doing it. Uh, he called her up to ask if he could come to San Drinkham. Sandrium for a chat to which she agreed however things quickly went downhill in what has been described as a classic move by the palace okay so who is really running stuff over there is it Queen Elizabeth or is it the Parliament I don't know girl they said the castle they said the palace on it made that decision but anyway going back to the article it says Harry reportedly told Charles he and Meghan wanted to spend more time in Canada before Christmas with the Prince of Wales telling them they needed to come up with a proper plan of how it would logistically work. Okay. The couple put together a full proposal detailing how they would make the plan work, which they sent over to Charles at the start of the new year. Okay. However, they were reportedly told they needed to spend more time thinking it through and that there were complex implications that needed to be worked out. I'm thinking complex communication or complex implications is they trying to figure out how they can get security on them get eyes on them before they'll all be gone and then they'll be looking at something like what happened to him what do you mean you lost them you know and all that kind of thing because he is a security threat or um if anybody got a hold to him they could just you know he has a lot of codes and um clearances that only um the prince princess and the queen would be relevant of knowing and with them being so high up on the ranks you know they would be fair game fair targets for any terrorist person to come get them so i understand what they're talking about uh complex implications all right then it goes on to say a source told the times it reached an impasse uh where his father said we need to have these conversations in person this is not something we can negotiate over email i, I definitely concur with them every eyes need to meet every body language need to be uh surveyed okay so we can get a good feel of how these people meaning harry and megan are feeling and how they want to see their lives work out uh play out as each year comes and goes okay um he goes back to say um harry agreed but said he also wanted to speak to the queen about his plans as a sign of respect okay the source added he has been communicating with her on the phone throughout he wanted to see her not negotiate with her but to talk to her grandson to granny to say this is how we have come to this he called her at sandrum a uh, sand rigum where she's still enjoying her Christmas break and asked if he could go up to North Fork to see her. She reportedly said, yes, love to see you. Come and see me. All right. However, things quickly started to go wrong. The source said a message was conveyed. Oh, sorry. Misunderstanding. She might have said she was available, but actually she is not available. Now, I'm like, okay, where do we go wrong where we put business over everything, over family? See, that's a no-no already. When the boy said he wants to see his grandmother, he really should not have to be up there making no appointments, okay? He should be able to show up on her doorstep, say, where is she? You know, let her stop everything. Her grandson, her favorite grandson is here to see her, and I need to talk to her. But you got these other folks parlaying around saying, nah, she busy. She taking a nap. Nah, she on the telephone with some ambassador or some person of regal authority or now she taking a bath or now she looking at her favorite soap opera i don't know but they like shitting him down okay i'm like what where's the family where's the family affair where is i'm one of here to, i'm here to see my grandmama okay don't tell me what she doing if un, unless she is sleeping no i don't want to disturb her or she's in a toiletry the, the commode, the, the laboratory, whatever you want to call it, the shit room, all right? If she ain't in now, then I need to see her. Presto. 
Come on, Garcon, get her, get her, get her. That's what I would have been saying. But anyway, that's just my sidebar. We're going to move on back to the article. It said, um, however, the queen made it very clear that he wasn't to publicly announce the plans for now. But Harry is said to have ignored this, sharing this statement on Wednesday evening. This decision has reportedly caused outrage with the royal family. And the queen is said to be deeply upset with my sidebar if he was let to um if he was led to be able to see his grandma i'm sure he wouldn't have went to such drastic measures as leaking it to the press and bringing the press all up in it with all our induation in endo in we call it in the windows and our speculations of what in the world could be going on see if they would let men in the parliament or the palace or whoever was in charge of the queen or whatnot if they would have went on and let her grandson you know speak to her they could have had this unspoken truth and both sides would have been taken care of but since it didn't act out accordingly he felt no other way to get her attention was to put her on blast so i mean hey desperate measures Desperate times, different times, different, um, what do you call it? Desperate times, des desperate measures has to be taken, all right? My sidebar, not in this article, going back to the article, it said, um, a statement was released by the Queen's office shortly after Meghan and Harry posted their news online, warning of complicated issues. A statement released by the Queen's office this evening says they understand Megan's and Harry's desire to take a different approach, but warns it would take time to work out the details. It reads, discussions with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are at an early stage, okay? Uh, we understand the desire to take a different approach, but these are complicated issues that would take time to work through. According to the Evening Standard, Charles and William were only sent a copy of the statement 10 minutes before it was made public, and they were not given any further information. Both are said to be inclandestined uh, with rage, okay? Inclandestined with rage, with the Queen deeply upset. But again, my viewpoints, and I'm just only coming from my viewpoints, I don't know about the legalities, the, the proper way of saying and doing things in the royal court when it comes to your grandmother being the queen and how you're supposed to act in her presence uh where viewers are being you know uh observing you all's uh comments and going your interactions or it's just a situation where you go in her room there's no cameras or nothing y'all can speak freely i don't know what the situation is but i do know coming from a human uh standpoint and viewpoint when the boy told you that he wanted to talk to you and he was pleading to you to talk to you on a humanistic way where it wasn't no royal uh, pedicure or pedigree going on. It wasn't no hoopla or who I am and what I stand for. It was just, Grandma, give me a hug. I need a hug. I need to talk to you. I, I'm just feeling some kind of way. Can you just talk to me as your grandson? Okay, not as a political head, not saying what I'm supposed to be doing for the community or the world at large, but just, you know, can you give me a little empathy? Can you give me a little sympathy here? I need to understand this situation. I'm coming to you as not an operator, but uh, or an owner of something that you're trying to help me be a part of, but just as a, your grandson, okay? So I'm saying... I'm looking at she's probably meaning the queen wanting to do the right thing as coming down off her throne and just being a loving, everyday cookie wearing, cookie baking grandma. But that's just not her life and that's not how she um, had him view her in a sense as him growing up. It was always that monarchy side and how you're supposed to look and act in public. And even if you're not being seen, you're still supposed to hold that standard quote or quota. For the family, okay? But uh, he's just acting out, I believe. Harry, he's rebelling. He's kind of being like his mom, wanting his own life. He don't want to be under the shadows anymore, or on the forefront anymore, as being a royal and all the privileges and perks you get with it. You know, it's always a downside. But, honest, um, 
Harris, I ain't about this life no more. <laughs> I can't even talk to my grandma. I can't talk to my daddy. They just don't understand me. Oh, and my needs and my wants and my desires. And they're in conflict, okay? They're in bat battle with one another. So if there's no understanding, there's no voice of reasoning, there's no olive branch going on between the two, meaning the queen and her grandson, Harry, then they're just going to have a chaotic world chaotic 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 going forth okay until somebody breaks and i don't see the queen breaking on her end so it'll probably be harris gonna have to choose one way or the other to comply conform to what he was born and raised into or to pretty much get a divorce <laughs> okay because mm -mm, mm -mm. either conform and have his wife conform or get a divorce that's pretty much what I'm thinking the queen is saying. Because we ain't going to change. We're going to be like this all day, every day. It, it's, it's been sticking with us. It's been working. We're tried and true. That woman over there, Hopper, who is that woman? Okay, meaning Mer um, Megan Markle, Markle. Hey, she like fly by night. We already told you from the get-go. We didn't think it was going to be a good match. But you assured us that she was going to conform this, that, and the third. So we let it win. We let y'all get married. Now look where we are. Okay, we back at to where I had told you from the beginning. She wasn't going to be a good fit because she is the type of woman where she's headstrong. She has her own ideas. She has her own plans. She's an individualist. She's an independent thinker. And we don't need nobody over there like that. We have those all day, every day. But we don't need another person coming in trying to assess the situation and try to make it better. No, we like what we're doing over here every day, every night, every year that comes in and out. We're going to be doing it this way. So, this is it with it is. But y'all get out in the comments. Y'all tell me. Is the queen wrong or is the grandson wrong? What would you do if you was in this predicament? That's the question that I'm asking to my family. Let's talk about it. Let's divulge into this crazy conversation of grandchildren versus the monarch. Okay? The monarch, the elite, okay, and what it all stands for. But I am done with this video. I done put a fork in it, and I will see you on the next one. Okay, good night, y'all. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my videos, okay? 